Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Welcome back. This is yet another edition here of the Braille and the Dump Show. Where would you rather be? Where would I rather be? Where would Joey D rather be here this afternoon? Joey D and now. So we're going to talk about Joey D just firing a fucking stray at me in the group chat right out of the yeah, gate. Just, just an unnecessary stray at me for not letting them into the, I mean, to the nice. room. We'd go out early, and then when we accepted the link, then we're waiting 10 minutes in the waiting room. I, I would rather you just not send the link. Why do we got to start like this? I mean, who are we always waiting for episode after episode I to come into the... it would the... be you, Bob. No, I think that's a bunch <laughs> of horse shit. I think I'm the one starting the meeting. How can I be the last one into the... You into can't the start the meeting without you. You have to be the one starting the meeting. You're the one who has the Zoom. Joey D. Anyway, you... good to be here. Good to anyway, see you we're, we're excited to yeah. be here. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 let's clap it up. There we go, everybody. Come on. Come around the bed now, everybody. Joey D in the house. You got my... Yes, Joseph, we see There's the dog. There's the crotch we, shot. We, we, the crotch see, shot. We crotch see shot. the dog. We see the dog. Did you see Joe on the last episode? I got a couple DMs about it. He just... He he. The entire episode, he's tilting the camera so that to the dog he would feed the, the dog, dog. Needs airtime. He dog would take, needs air time. which is good. But yes. he takes the camera with him to show us that he's feeding the dog. You know, Nicole, dog's good for the, the dog's good for the program. Uh, it's the mascot of the show at this point. Nicole, and took, Nicole and I took the dog to the beach like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, yes. and we had some guy come up to us and say he's filming a short film and that the dog would be perfect, and asked us for. Uh, like Nicole's e email information to get him to be the star of the show. Dog's a star, Joe. <laughs> like, like, there's no denying it. Been an eye opener. <laughs> there's no <laughs> denying it. That dog's a star. I can I'm see trying from to get him one. That dog was a star. And you know what, too? You know what, Bob? What are you got over there? A little Cabernet, a little Pinot Noir. Whoa, what is that? You're you're a star too, Joey Day. I don't know about that. Bob. What are you eating, man? I mean, what's, what 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 are you eating? Mangoes. Jesus Christ! This guy. <laughs> Bob, really? What is that? What do we got in the glass? Yeah, I got to You know what? It's it, it's actually funny you ask, Mikey B. It's not a sponsor, but um, it's a bottle from Sasha Buyacich. Believe it or not. Um, <laughs> okay, very yeah. good. I hope he play, I hope he does wine better than he did basketball. Oh, why do we got to do? What is wrong with you, Joey D? Why are nobody hey, is safe good. today? Another nobody great drink. Safe. The Celsius. Tremendous. Yeah, yeah you're right about that. flavor is so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what bothers me, Joey D, is Sasha got you a bottle, too. I didn't get a bottle. Well, I got to give it to you. I bet you it's it's class. I bet you it's a class above the rest. Yeah, I bet it's yeah, really, really right. good. You know another yeah. thing that he did, by the way? And it's okay, because I really do. I really like Fireball. He sent Fireball my address, so they sent me one of those sweaters. What am I gonna do with what am I gonna do with the sweater? Tell you what, they sent you I got probably it. an entire package. No, tell I just what. got a sweater. I tell thought they were gonna send a couple of That, was, that wasn't what. supposed to be the that, that yeah. wasn't supposed to be what happened. Tell you what, I got one of those sweaters too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Did they send you anything with it? No, Not just to be the sweater. Oh, so that so here's the thing is they hit me up and they're like, you know, the guys were were, were trashing your sweater. We'd love to send them some stuff, too. I thought you were going to get the same package that I oh, did, I just too. got a sweater, like and I got to be honest. And yeah, like I got to be honest. Uh, the cooler pack. Anyway, I, the, I the, the package was not well thought out. I mean, the packaging. <laughs> I mean, it was put together. It was, uh, let's mean? call a spade a spade. You want me no. to call a spade a spade? I got to be put honest. Together, it was wrapped up and it was wrapped up with fucking <laughs> scotch tape. Okay, that's the number one thing. It was wrapped up with there was no card stock to be found. If you're gonna send a package from a company, you always include a note on card stock. Wow. I'm Are just you saying the rules for like sending packages? What yeah, that's the way it's now? done correctly. Yes. Wow. Yes. Has yeah. Mikey has Mikey V gone full influencer mode on us? Yeah, here? No, no, I haven't, but I mean that's guy, sweater, Bob. Man. Bob, you <laughs> said what are you gonna do with that sweater? What are you gonna do with it? Look, there was a time when I'll tell you this, what Mikey's saying ain't wrong. I thank you. you. There thank was a you. time when Mikey V received a Klondike's a, a <laughs> Klondike. Klondike sent me a package that could choke an elephant. Klondike sent me a package that could choke an elephant, Joe. They sent me like 30 bars. They sent me a sweater, a fanny pack, a hat, a <laughs> fucking <laughs> tote bag. You'll get more bag. use oh, out of the most fire. Importantly, most importantly, Klondike sent me chocolate chip mint, my favorite flavor, ice cream bars, about 30 of them, a 30 rack. Fireball, I don't even like Fireball, and they sent me this. Oh, this, I don't like Fireball. Whoa, 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 I mean, 
Come on. Now man. we just crossed I'm not a fireball guy. Jesus Christ. Christ. This guy's taking out a lot of money out of our pockets. This is here, a potential Joey. partner Another. here, oh, Mike. Right. Yes. Well, case, so I mean, I'm now. not saying uh, it's just not for me. That's all. That's all I'm oh, saying. Oh, my God. There was a time when Mikey V would have accepted a. A package from freaking from from anywhere from like <laughs> no Joe, the time he would Joe. have been sitting there waiting <laughs> with his thumbs waiting for the package. Joe, let me tell you that, it's not that I'm not grateful, but to send that sweater right to send that sweater and there was no note, there was nothing. It was just it was it was it felt it felt I, weird. Felt again, weird. I thought they were sending you a whole package, and I I'm sorry. That's not on you, Joe. It's not on you. I mean, oh, look, no, I, but I, I I'm very close with these guys. Well, wow, wow. Well, I. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to lunch with them, Joe? They sent you a sweater. I mean, I'm trying. Let's... I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm. What I'm saying is that they're a potential partner, and I want to bring you guys in on this. And I just thought that they were going to send something a little more elaborate than they did. So I'll take the blame. I'll be the. I staple. appreciate. I appreciate the sweater. We need Fireball I mean, you know. out of this. It's they're not to blame. I love Fire. By the way, I love Fireball. I mean, I cinnamon it. whiskey. Yeah, it's Bob just, has learned, it's a, it's a Bob has learned the it's tricks of trade early and often, and he is utilizing them very well right now. We have some talking to do to Mikey V. By the top way, notch, top notch whiskey reminds me of uh, McAllen and, and Glenn Morangi. <laughs> it's right up there with McAllen and Glenn Morangi. <laughs> By the way, what is the hat that you are wearing tonight? You want to talk about bad taste. Joe, hold on. You wear Joe, hold on, hold on, Joe. You wear fucking Alcatraz prison jumpsuits to go play golf. You're gonna talk to me about this fucking you melon like hat, which they make a really nice hat. Very nice hat they make. Very nice what hat. What? What hat is that? That's called the brand is melon. You may be familiar with oh, it. Oh, I heard they're really expensive, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Hard. It's a very comfortable hat. No, there listen, it's some... not it's not it's not the quality of a Roback hat, but it's a well, good that's hat. That's what I was referring to. I thought that you'd be wearing the premium Roback. You I know. mean, I have my Roback. I you know, I got Roback out the wazoo. That's that's not a question, but for you to I... question my fashion, my, my and that this is too to, to, I, to try to try and purport, to, to, <laughs> to try and posit that this is too loud of a color when you walk around <laughs> looking like a fucking peacock half the time. I mean But that's let's... my branding, that's what I do. That's, that's my brand. That's I can't believe that just came out of his mouth. I can't believe that just came out of his mouth. That's my branding. Yeah, I've done that since day one. I've always dressed loud. What's it's the true. brand? What's the branding? To look like a paint by numbers? No, the branding is express yourself. Yeah. Oh, boy, does oh, he do that. Boy, boy, does he. Express yourself. Boy, does he do that. Express yourself. Oh. oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, also a patent. That's a, I, that's a branding thing. I, by the way, not to just stay on the brands all the time, I want an apology to Sasha Vujacic, who who got a, a total ricochet shot. What kind, out of, what kind of a lot? Is that a Cabernet? What is that? Uh, it's Paso Robles. That's the spot. Uh, that's that's where, that's, that's where the vineyard Pasta is. Pasta Robles right? is in California. Turn it okay. around. And it'll say the. Um, we, we need to teach this. Yo, thing. yeah, it's unbelievable. It's a it's it's a it, it says 2018 Paso Robles red. Okay, so it's a table red. Yeah, it's yeah. Red. It's probably yeah. a house blend. Whoa! It's probably. Yeah, I bet it's good though. That's not an insult. That's it's not, not an insult. insult. No, no, no. I'm no, just no. protecting Vujicic. Yeah, I yeah. Think that's, that's fair. A... That's fair. That's fair. How did you and Sasha Vujicic connect? It's a funny question you asked through Pau Gasol, believe it or not. I'm joking about that. No, I'm joking about that. I was going to say, what's the word? Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> what, 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 where? No, it came through the Callaway rep. The Callaway rep, apparently, Sasha Vujicic is a very big friend of the program. Probably not mm. anymore, but he was a very big friend of the program. And he sent a couple of bottles of wine, and I got a, a bottle of wine here. Hey, folks, Joey Colcutt's here. Wanted to take a moment out of your time to let you know that the baseball season is officially in full swing. So what better way to follow along than with the DraftKings Sportsbook app? Whether whether you're betting on your favorite team or following your favorite player throughout the game, DraftKings Sportsbook app has got you covered. Here's what you got to do. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app today and use our promo code DUMB. Pretty simple. Promo code D-U-M-B. All new customers who bet as little as $5 on any pregame money line bet will have an opportunity to win up to $150 in bonus bets simply if your team wins. That's a pretty great opportunity right there if I say so myself. So don't hesitate, get in on the action today and let's have ourselves a day. Now I will say the best care package maybe ever sent 
low key, just because of how good it was. Joey D had a terrific Jack Link's beef jerky yeah. connection. Now, whatever happened mm. with that, Joe, because that was something that I could really get behind, they, they, as well they, as Fireball. I kind of missed the mark there, to be honest. They, oh, boy. Uh, oh, well, boy. no, they gave the the, the, pe- the people I was DMing with, whoever was in charge of their social media, perhaps they were fired. Gave me, they gave me the connection for the person to do like a to, to reach out to to do a brand potential brand partnership, and I just didn't message them for months, and now I. Went back and I tried to revive it, and I've heard nothing. It's been radio silence. So I, I, yeah. I, I might have dropped the. You know, to be honest, I would have just taken the free jerky because you it's should have seen they had these pork bites. Can't find them anywhere now. I can't find they them anywhere. Were so tremendous for football Sunday. It was. It was. It was a true joy to be able to enjoy. Not a big jerky guy. Not a jerky guy. No. No. I- no. Man, there's some good jerkies out there, though. Oh, yeah? I never really think there's oh. some really good jerkies out Not there. Not a jerky oh, guy. Not a and jerky he's right guy. about these pork bites. I they were it was some of the best beef jerky, or I guess something about it jerky. is just something about it just seems so unnaturally unpleasant to me. I just can't get over like a, like a dried cure. I, I I don't know, and I should get over that because I mean that's uh, that's half of what, what like cold Italian thing? antipasto is 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 is. I got dried meat. You know what uh, bothers me? I was so excited today to send Mikey V that KFC chicken sandwich. Man, it's, a hard, it's a heartbreaker. They, they they took it away. This is a franchise that is. They really are, man. I mean, lost. there's so much tradition. Hey, they, to, they they created the popcorn chicken. That that was a win. Tell you who they are not. Wendy's. 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 Do we have? I mean, not to. Do we have a Wendy? Oh, fellas. We got to lock in a big sponsor here. This is fucking – do we have a Dave Thomas? So here, I think, I think the Wendy's staff went away on, on like, some kind of corporate <laughs> retreat during the uh, – <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know, they They're working for Jack Lee's beef jerky. Well, here's, 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 I'm hoping, it's been a week and a half. I'm hoping this – I'm hoping all this – I got to go work for Wendy, Bob. They're having the best fucking corporate fucking outing. Yeah. Like, we, they go. I think they ghosted you, man. I, I don't know. Oh, the guy, the guy they, failed, I think they the saw my BB do his live, and they just said, this ain't for us, dog. That's it. And then that's, they burned them. They said, then man. they roasted them on top of it, Bob. <laughs> they roasted the worst you. roast I've ever seen in my life. Whoa, wait, Joe, whoa, Joe, wait. Whoa, whoa, they didn't whoa, roast easy. you, Joe? Joe, what kind of but... fucking selective memory do you have? Don't tell <laughs> the people. They don't pretzel, you the human don't pretzel another fucking story, Joe. Yeah, I know that, which is, by the way, <laughs> by the way, that was such a preposterous thing to say, but I'll wear it. That's fine. No problem. You take your best shot, and she came out and said, she did. She swung, but let me tell you something. She's hiding behind a digital facade. Let's whoa, whoa, see whoa, who the whoa, voice whoa, of whoa, 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 we Let's love her. Is. That's what we do love her. We love her. And yeah. the guy, our rep, he, he emailed me last week. But then they all had the auto reply on when I sent back oh. something saying, listen, we posted the TikTok video. They asked us to engage in that video. I showed you guys the email. So it was the right thing to do. Calls. It was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do. I have a feeling we're going to get a follow up from Wendy within the next five business Wendy days. That's my gut. Me. What? Wendy's account started following me and then DM. I'm, t- I'm telling you guys, this, this, is, this, is a, this is a big player. Son of a bitch. Don't worry about that. I don't think you that, follow Bob. him, Bob. Well, you I don't do follow. worry about it because you know what? I'd like them to follow me too. Uh, I mean, Maybe they should follow will. them, Bob. They'll, Bob, they'll I, be following us in, in, in due time and they'll be doing more than that. Wendy's and, Wendy's and the Brilliantly Dumb Show will be locked into a very fruitful partnership. Wendy's very follows. Fruitful. 208 people. You know who just the one of those 208 is? Yeah, Joey Colcutts and Lance Briggs, former Bears <laughs> Pro Bowl <laughs> linebacker, which is bizarre. You're um, so sick for knowing that. That is really Well, they sick... DM'd me, and I went back to respond, and that's when I No, saw you're me. fine. I'm saying for Mikey V to know that Wendy's follows Lance Briggs. Yeah, well, because I looked, at, I looked at who they were following Wendy's. like you just did, and it'll show you who you follow, uh, like the mutual follows, and Lance Briggs is one Mikey of them. Mikey V has been following Wendy's for a while, and they haven't hit the follow back. No, that's that's, a, that's actually not true, Joe. <laughs> that's not true, Joe. Well, actually, the truth is I think I just – Started following Wendy's last week after the roast happened. But I will go back to this. You're talking about care packages. I still say that the Wendy's Biggie Bag yes. care package had to be the greatest. Terrific. Really was. Absurd no, no, no. Care yeah, package. really was. I, absurd. Absurd. The level of absurdity. Did... The note, though. The, the note. note. The note was terrific. That's why I said, you know, the note is very important. The note the is note almost is as important as what comes with it. 
The note is indicative of the fact that they listened to the pop yes. Yes. on multiple You're right. times. You're right. And they, yes. they mentioned Bob's flat sticks, so they probably also follow Bob to sports. So we could get a two-tier sponsorship here, Bob. I'd love to kill two birds with one stone, Joey. <laughs> well, uh, let's, uh, Wendy's, we're here first, though. You know, we're, here. We're, we're here first. <laughs> Can I get a fucking bone thrown my way? Corona and fucking this one and that one. I'd like to get a flagship franchise. You're good at my TV. You are, you you are the... You, you're you're striking while the iron is hot. You're the reason we're in this talks. That yes, is true. We, that's that fine. Is, that's that is fine. absolutely true. Should now, I, so I got maybe... a bone to pick. I have a bone to pick with, with society right now, Bob. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay. Go take it away. And it's the right. social media. <laughs> uh, and it's not a sell, really. But I will tell you this. This is a copy. This social media game is a copycat league. Do you know how many fucking garage door videos I have been tagged in over the last yeah. two weeks? Lots. All of a sudden now, everybody and their mother is jumping through a garage door, jumping under. It is a copycat league. It's sad. It's pathetic. You got. You can't do that. You got it. It's got to be something else because it's just. It's. It's no good. It's no good. It's copycat. By the way, people were trying to claim that I planned that. We that discussed that already. We thing. discussed that already. We know that's not He's true. Right. We that know that's not true. That has been discussed. That could have been decapitated, and I got people commenting, "Oh, this guy wanted a couple." But I'm talking about. Life. I'm talking about the the uh, the outrageous <laughs> fact that there's Hi. several other garage door videos out there now, and people are just. I mean, it's you're a trendsetter, Joe. Uh, this is a trend. Did you, I still can't believe Joe's got Wendy's follow. That that's pretty crazy, man. I that, that he is. Look at the look at look at now. The, look at the DM. Now, I've seen it, Joseph. I I've seen I it. I didn't I, show you the DM. But Joe, I, I mean, they've DM'd. They DM'd with me several times. This is how the whole genesis. Of by this the way, you know happened. what I did. You know what I did. Right? <laughs> just, <laughs> just no regard. Just no regard for that's Mikey's fine. words. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, Joey, Dave, we gotta have. <laughs> I get. I did a heady play, Bob. I followed Wendy's Canada as well. Oh, oh. yeah. All right. That could have been the difference. <laughs> yeah, we, for all we know, the Wendy's social media operator could be some guy in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, just sitting there, and you know, it could well, be very well. He's on vacation right now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there, there's a corporate retreat, a hundred percent. A lot, of, a lot of auto reply emails this week. Hey, Bob, they're taking that corporate Four Seasons jet around the world. For their corporate trip. Well, we're back you why, for a few months. Has to be something to work for Wendy's corporate. It just has to be something. You know what? Maybe it's we a, find out soon enough. It's a corporate retreat. Oh, I think so they're running good. a corporate retreat. I'm dead <laughs> imagine if Mikey D got the gold gone. card. Can you imagine how often he would on his stories like reference that he's using the gold Donnie, card? The best, the best money in advertising right now is in Mikey B. If you're starting a business, whatever it is. <laughs> I like, don't think I would dollars. advertise the fact I have the gold card. I just would be at Wendy's several times a week. Oh, it, would actually, would. it would be I'll very detrimental. You. It would be I'll very you, detrimental. would advertise health, that gold I'd card. Say. Joey oh, D would be oh, he would, yeah. he would oh, yeah. dropping yeah. that. Oh, so. oh, if you don't think Joey D... He'd be oh, slapping that wait, thing. What's this? Excuse me for one second. Hey, this is this my this is my gold card. Excuse me, Miss. I'm allowed free frosties for the rest of my adult life. And get one for a couple of my friends here also. They they don't have a gold card like I do. They don't have a gold card like I do. I own the only one who has one. But please, it's on me. Today. Listen, Thank kids, you. work hard and you'll get a gold card like me. <laughs> I go to like a parent teacher conference once I have kids. You know. One of the joys in life I have is getting the gold card. For yes, me. yes, on career day when they what have people go up there to speak about their careers. Joe oh, just takes man. out the Wendy's gold card. Oh. Enough said, children. Yeah. Enough said. Oh man! By the way, can we talk about? And I, I just had to mention it because it was such a wild play to me, and I envy Mikey V on just how thorough he is detailed if you make plans Here with mikey b it, he'll make it months and then he's like my dad he's quick to make like dinner reservations i'm gonna, I'm gonna, let, you, I'm gonna let you go but i'm gonna let you go bob you could go on your Please tangent do. here you're gonna dress this up and make it seem uh, and then i will i will speak there's, about it once you're there's ready. nothing to dress up we're, we're getting ready to go to a yankee game after the breezy tournament the next day we're uh -huh. gonna go to the yankee game so we got a bus everybody's going to the yankee game the audi club's gonna be fucking Terrific. And by the way, you have to have a guy that plans it all. Mike, he's the best with it. I'll be the first to tell you, he's the best. I wish I had that in me. But 
he sent a poll to the group <laughs> on how much they'd be willing to pay for tickets. You had to download the app. I didn't the, know about the, downloading the yeah, app. Downloading the I app did, was a bit much, but I did had, download it. In order for I, us to do it, you had to download the polls app from the wasn't, Apple store. I wasn't aware of that. To type in, to click in how much you were willing to spend. Rather than just saying, guys, do you want this number or this number? We had to send in something on the That wouldn't have worked. Yeah. To pull, sure, it would have worked. Why wouldn't it have worked other than that? I downloaded the app and I deleted it ex right after I did the poll. And that's what a, a fair play. What what a fair play. By the way, again, what, do you, you know how difficult sick. it is? You're dealing with now for everyone to have a full grasp of what we're dealing with. <laughs> full, the full grasp of there are 13 grown men in this group chat, many of which are busy. Full, well, everyone is busy. Everyone's got a full-time job doing something or another, including our friends here. Uh, <laughs> some off. of which, some of which, <laughs> some of which, some of which had to take a wait, shot. wait, wait, some of which have children, they have wives. Getting answers out of these people is like, it sometimes becomes pulling teeth. Now, the most anal and anxiety riddled people in that group chat will answer immediately aka dicky gas he will answer you immediately almost he is he, he's like this when it comes to yes or no's but other guys you really got to drag an answer out of and i'm sorry i'm too fucking busy myself to fucking have to hunt down for weeks on end to know who's in who's out i may be in i may be out i i could pay this much but i can't i need to know right away because now guess what boys Guess what? You guys are going to come to town for the Breezy. We're going to go to the Breezy Invitational. going to be a great day. Guess what? The next day we'll have nothing to worry about because the bus is done. The tickets are purchased. We have absolutely nothing to worry about. All you got to do is show up. That's all you got to do. I, That's all you got to do. And I commend you for that. And every group needs that. And I, again, I wish that I could do that. But to I me, feel like was... Joe could, I feel Joe could do that. I think I would be. I mean, I don't know if I would create an app that everybody has. To I didn't for. create the fucking app. I'm no, not fucking, pretty I'm much not fucking Steve Jobs. That, that had to be the only download that that. By app the way, seen. by the way, I, did now, I know by the way that app is it was in it was on it's on built into my text bar, right? So if you go to this right and you look, oh, you see how look at it. You see polls right there. Polls. Hey, yes. I I. I I, I admit that me and Joe are crazy, but I think the deeper we look into it, I got news for you, Mikey B. Fuck You're you, just Bob. as crazy, if not Mike, crazier. Mikey's the craziest out of all. I think he may be. Joe, I think I'm he... the craziest, Joe. Oh, well, I'm pretty crazy. I, it's close. It's well, close. I'm pretty crazy. I've accepted But I, I will say, Mikey's also the most mature out of us by far. He runs circles well, around us. He's got, he's got two kids. Well, but yeah, I kids, mean, look, kids will snap. There's nothing that will snap you into like maturity reality more than yeah, you, nothing, you got, nothing. You got because it's like, for it's like, human okay, being. yeah, there's human beings that like, I can't just be like, <laughs> oh, fuck you. You know, <laughs> you don't need my attention to that. I will say this. If I'm the sickest person, the most closet sickest person, the closet sick king is the gentleman wearing the have a day white hat with the Mountain Dew uh, ish logo. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Bob. It's Bob. Bob knows what's going on on the internet, unlike anyone I've ever seen. He has his finger on the pulse of social media. I mean, he te he whips out statistics like he's fucking like I don't know what man. Like he's like he's uh, uh you know Kirk Herb Street breaking down uh you know the BCS rankings. It's insane. It's insane what this guy knows on what. Oh, Bob, you know, you look at how look at this, Mike. How many look at the eyes on this one? Only 25 minutes in. Look at the eyes on this one. Like, I uh, that that's like speaking Greek to me, but Bob is like so uh, all over stuff like that. It, it amazes me. But Bob Bob's a Bob's screenshots everything. I mean, oh, this guy's got a God. chamber. I mean, if I don't know how his phone has that remember. much memory. The cloud has to be full at this point. Oh, the cloud's got to be full. He's got to have like five Nimbus clouds. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got so much, man. The uh, king he's got of like one cloud just for me. I swear to God. If he ever wanted to bury me, he's got so many horrific photos of oh, me yes. just like. And I, and I can see, like, I used to be, like, oblivious to when he was filming. And now I know. And he doesn't even care that I know. He just keeps no. doing you know, my mom said to me, it was kind of fucked up, but but she said, you know, Robbie, she goes, you have not, she goes, for the past decade, you haven't picked your head up. You've been so 
into what you're doing. You haven't picked your head up. Now, I said I kind of took it as a good thing in the sense of I, I don't want to – I like being obsessed with it. I think it's a healthy yeah. thing. You're like Kobe. For what you do. Practicing. For what you do, it's That's necessary. A, it's necessary. Yeah. I mean, and it's I necessary. think she kind of meant it as a good thing, but she did say there's times where maybe you just take a step back you know, for I don't want to. I'm 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 addicted. I really yeah, am. Yeah, well, that's why you're so good. That's what makes you good too. I think like if you take your foot off the gas, that's when you know things could fall into a lull. So I would suggest against that. And then you know, I used to get the same thing from from Holly all the time. It's like you're always on your phone. You're, but that has dissipated significantly over the last two years, and from my family too, because they realize like, okay, a lot of the stuff he does now is like so heavily reliant on being on social media, being on the phone. It's unfortunate in a way, but in another way, hey. and like Bob said, I you know, if I'm going to do something, I'm of the same mentality. I'm either going to be obsessed, otherwise I don't want to do it. I tell you what, what, Mikey V, DraftKings wouldn't come knocking if you hadn't had your head in the phone. Let me tell you that much. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, these all these, things all are these all opportunities, all these opportunities that, you know, we're so lucky to do so many of the things that we do with so many of these different companies and sponsors. And uh, it's, it's, they, you know, they deserve, and I'm not saying every single one does, but the ones that we work with, I mean, in my opinion, that's my work ethic. You deserve to get the the utmost I could give you, and I'll give you the utmost as long as I feel like that's being you know reciprocated. I, I'm I'm a hundred percent for giving you everything I could give you. That's the way I operate. You say that again. <laughs> well, I, mean, that's I, the way I, I, I I don't know how you make time. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. Five a.m. five thirty wake ups and, and eleven o'clock bedtime. He's I get up in the morning. The first stories that I see on my phone, but that's because like at least one Dunkin' Donut yeah, coffee yeah, review, yeah, at yeah. least it's one like gym you. review or gym yeah. picture of him sweating balls, talking about rollback, and then and then he's already like firing in the group chats. Like Mikey V starts early and often. He don't the wait. Best. He called. He called me at six forty five in the morning the other day. <laughs> it was six forty five. You did. You sure did what about the breezy. It was 6.45. I was getting ready to go to the gym. And I but said, you were East this Coast, no? psych- Were you East Coast at that no, time? No, this was the other day. Oh, oh, oh that was that. That was, <laughs> that was a mistake. 6.45 that was in the morning. This I got, you know, I, I, don't, I don't believe it. Folks, our next sponsor is a sponsor that I just so happen to use and take every single day, a product that I use and take every single day, Athletic Greens. You cannot go wrong when you're taking Athletic Greens. I wanted better mental health, physical health, gut health, and that is exactly what Athletic Greens does. You cannot go wrong when you go Athletic Greens. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you are absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. You can't go wrong. It starts your day right. I do it. I take one scoop of the Athletic Greens, down it with the water, and I am good to go. Mentally, I feel great. Physically, I feel great. After a workout, I use it, and it is absolutely terrific. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Do it with Athletic Greens. You can't go wrong. But I, I feel like what we're doing i have a sick thought that and i don't actually like believe it but i do think it i feel like it's going to get taken away from us at any moment that's the thing that oh, come just, on, i'm Bob. telling you man it just seems too Bob. good to be true Joey Day. and a lot right. of times yeah. if it is too good to be true it is this is too much fun we shouldn't be able to do this day well day. you know you shoot for the stars bob we, we shot to hit one <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair, <laughs> enough. fair enough there enough. And Mikey, why don't you go ahead and tell the folks here at the Brilliant Dumb Show where they could find the most premium whiskey around. Mikey V, take it away. If you want whiskey, where are you going? You want whiskey that'll <laughs> knock your socks off and put an <laughs> ugly sweater on your body? Why don't you head on over to Fireball Whiskey? That's right, Fireball. Light your balls on fire and pour yourself <laughs> a shot of Fireball. God bless. <laughs> I tell you what, Mikey, you will end up bathing in this shit if they give you that. Yeah, game. you will. If they it's throw the- me a bag, if they throw me a bag, of course I'm. <laughs> a, of course I'm. I'm just saying that, that 
The package wrapping was not a good start. Okay, you want my, enough, I'm, I'm just saying it's not. If you're getting into golf, right. Mikey, and I'm not just saying this. This is not a plug. What do they have to do with golf? That, listen, there is no better shot to take on the golf course than a chilled little bottle of Fireball. You it know is, what's I'm funny right about that. that? Now, I've only that. been on the course the one time. I've only been on the course the one time. I've been to the. I went to the range last week. Like I'm making sure I'm swinging my clubs at least one day a week, a hundred swings, something like that. But. I got to be honest, I was so in the zone when we went out with me, Jerry, Don, and Fubi and Dick. I was so in the zone, I have to be honest, the thought of having a cocktail did not even cross my mind until after the round was over. And I'm sure that's like a newbie thing because I think I was so like amped up and nervous, yeah. kind of like not make a total fucking jerk out of myself that maybe that's why. But And then once I relax a little bit more and I get out there and I know I can hit the ball straight, I could advance the ball, which I was advancing the ball, maybe not straight, but I was a bit. And the rate of play, (laughs) Dickie Gass said the rate of play was acceptable, which was big big. because because, because he's very much, if it wasn't, he would tell me straight. One thing about him, he'll tell you straight. But yeah, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about cocktails, which is like, is bizarre. You will. You You know, sometimes you go out, go out and play these places like with Joey D and when he's playing good, he wants, he doesn't want to drink. He wants to stay dialed in. So That's fair. you almost like when he hits a bad shot, you kind of get ready for him, like to get ready to go to where <laughs> if it starts to fall downhill, it's almost a good thing in the sense of a, you get to witness the blow up, which is the most fun thing known to man in, in the golf game is a Joey D blow up. And then B he'll turn to me. He'll be like, Bob, let's get some cocktails. And then it's a fucking black. Then it's fucking yeah, pedal to the, the metal. So Bob will try to give me like an edible on the course. I'll be like, I can't, I'm good. Because once I go down that road, I tell you, once I no, go down you're done. road, you you're don't done. know what you're getting. You really, you're in the clouds. Bro. I'm in the clouds, but the thing is, is I, Bob has seen me play some exceptional golf in the clouds. Normally it's shit, but the problem, the thing is, is even though it's shit, you're, you're riding such a high, and like you're on the course, you're with your boys, like the, the, just the, the vibes are immaculate that it doesn't really even matter. At that point, I, I, I am I am so excited for the uh for the breezy. I really right. am. And I'm not even fucking playing. And I'm I'm so excited just what are you to be, be in that environment. He's gonna be with us. Mikey V's gonna be rolling with oh. us the whole time. <laughs> running the fucking show, baby. You tell me. I, I think Mikey V should have his own hold, to be honest. That's kind of where imagine. I'm geared toward. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you this. I from time to time will dabble in a gummy. The best time where I am at my peak, okay is on the golf course, twilight time, sun's going down, little bit of an edible, that thing's happening. The boys are just free swinging, having a fucking ball. The sun's going down. You got the eight o'clock Rayo's reservation after it goes down. Of course. (laughs) It it, it is like, to me, that is the most, I mean, like we did it, Joe was out of town, but we did it with our Callaway rep and, and, and he came out and we did the twilight time. The sun was going down. I knew Rayo's was on the horizon as well. It, I, I was in all my glory. It was the best Bob you're going to get. I, I was so in my element. That's I really Bob. was. Um, Paints a picture okay. like Bob Ross there. It's incredible. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, really, it's, it's, it's very good. Mental. It's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Um, let's go ahead, fellas. Buy or sell. Pretty late to the buy or sell because we've been having a good time here. That's what we do. Um, buy or sell. I got no issue starting us off, and I, I think this is terrible. I, I really do. I'm not very involved. I don't even know if I would go if I got offered. I don't think Coachella would be for me. I really don't. Um, it's just too 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 much chaos. I, it's just not for me. But that being said, did you see the stunt that this Frank Ocean pulled? No. Um, he didn't. For people came paid all this money to go to to Frank Ocean. He had them build this big elaborate setup for him for the stage. Apparently, from from the from from what I read, maybe I'm a little wrong on the story. This is what I read. Apparently. They set everything up like they set up an ice rink for him and everything on oh. that he was going to say a whole thing. Mi- moments before the show, he goes, I don't feel like performing. I don't feel like going out. So he went out on stage but didn't sing. He just came out and just danced a little bit and like mouthed the words and then apparently just went backstage during it. Now, again, <laughs> there's some stuff that I might be missing, but that's pretty much the gist of, of what happens. And look, man – I. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a mental health thing or or something, but 
something's got to give, man. I mean, come on. You have all these people spending all this money to come out and see it. And you can I mean, come on, man. Like Firefest. It's very diva Quads or some kind of – when they sign a contract to do these things, don't they – have some kind yeah, of yeah, they'll sue him. They'll sue him. That's got to violate his rider, whatever the fuck he signed. The, that can't be. They agreed to. Be. They agreed to do a certain amount of songs. He's definitely going to get sued. Just I would imagine. Come on, man. What are we? But doing? that money's not going to go back to the patrons. That money's going to get lined in the uh, in the promoters' pockets. Yeah. And a, look, uh, apparently he's got a lot of diva mentalities. Like he's one of those guys that just puts out a song every few odd years and is like iconic everything he does. So I kind of look. So be it with that. But come on, man. You say you're going to perform. You have an obligation. And you're there. It's not even like you didn't even – you're there. And, and come on. I'll tell you what, man. man. Frank Ocean is a phenomenal, like, artist, though. In, in, in all honesty. He I is. he is. I, I bet he – Have you listened he, to his stuff, Bob? Like, I know I, he – I mean, his stuff is, is top-notch. It's exceptional. So yeah, I bet he is. I agree I, with you. I think it's a good sell. But, like, Frank Ocean as a whole, still very good value. Okay. I respect that. I bet he is. I mean, look, and again, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I, that's pretty much the gist of it from what I saw. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell that and send it over to Joey D. I'm, I, listen, I've been watching the NBA playoffs the last couple of days. I'm going to sell this guy. This guy is the biggest piece of trash in the I, league. And I for a long going. time, I know where he's I going. No business. League. He can't make a shot anymore. I know he's going. They're clowning yeah, around. He is an absolute you wanna, goofball. You want to do it on three? Yeah. Well, everybody I mean, together now. Stay. We all know. Right, let's one, do it one. on three for the sake of the program. Everybody together now. <laughs> one, two, three. Draymond, Draymond Green. Green. This yeah. guy is a fucking pardon my French clown. Yeah. I mean, to do that shit. To stomp on that guy, and by the way, Sabonis is not like some kind of real, like, villain kind of, like, trash-talking piece of work that you got to stomp on his abdomen. I mean, this guy <laughs> is absolutely lost the plot. He used to be a half-decent player. He could make a three. He used to get triple doubles. He's out there running around like he's in a circus. And absolutely, did you see him chirping the fans, Bob? This it's guy, it's it's overkill. This guy's lost the plot, and the, quite frankly, the fact that he's making the kind of money that he is now is preposterous. He punched his own player in a in a preseason or practice. Sure he punched did. Jordan Poole at that. Sure did. This guy's been riding the coattails of Steph Curry and company for fucking years, and I'm over it. I'm over the Golden State Warriors. I'm selling the shit out of Draymond Green. I hope he gets fined. I hope he doesn't play another game in the league. To be honest, I, I just – he's Joe's, all Joe's had the Warriors for the first two games. Not a oh, by the way, let it be known. Oh, for the record, on the sportsman, I said I like the Sacramento Kings. You did, you did, you did. But you bet I, the Warriors regardless. I, I will say, he's. He, did you bet the you bet the Warriors, Joe? Fuck it. I, I missed the bet last night. I was supposed to. <laughs> well, I, I will say, some of the stuff, like with the fans and stuff, but he's a terrific defensive player, and – He's a dog, man. And if you want a guy care. on your team, he you do want to learn his lesson. He's no, I, I, I will. The, the stuff that he says, and also, too, it's the entire game. Yeah, he's, he like, he's, like, he's like their Pat Beverly. He's like their Dennis Rodman. He's yeah. like that kind of guy. Who's I've just... never seen him get a call for a foul and just accept it. I know. He's I agree with that. I... Every single time he is not wrong. It's, it's unbelievable. The, it's, and I get the antics and stuff like that. It's the entire game he's doing it. it it is the entire game but oh, again man. would i take him on my team i sure would Probably. um anywho mikey v we head on over to you you know it's very funny that you did your sell bob because mine directly parallels yours in some regard okay i am selling the modern entertainer i'm selling the modern day entertainer bob we slightly <laughs> talked about this the other night I watched a movie, and not to go back to movies, but I watched the new Elvis movie. Oh, it's bad. Unbelievable. One of the oh, best oh. movies I have seen in years, the new Elvis movie. This guy who played Elvis. You, you said like it's bad, it? Joe? It's horrific. Wow. <laughs> I, I had to turn it off. I, I watched the first half an hour. With Tom was, Hanks? <laughs> with Tom Hanks? I watched the first half an hour, Bob, It was, or 40 minutes. It was so Are bad. we talking about the same movie, Joe? 
Because the guy who played Elvis won the won the uh, Emmy for Best Actor or whatever. No, he for didn't. Golden he got Globe. nominated. No, he won one of them for Best Actor, not the Academy Award. He won another one for Best Actor for that. Well, that's what the Bro. Academy Award is. Awesome. My opinion, my opinion, I don't know if you like Elvis, Joe, like the real Elvis. I thought it was phenomenal. Movie aside, because that's secondary. I just think about this as I'm watching this movie. I think about Elvis Presley. I think about Michael Jackson. I think about Frank Sinatra. I think about Prince. I think about the Beatles. I think about all of these names, these these Rolling legitimate, Stones. the Rolling Stones, Eric Clapton, um, you know, Jimmy, Jimi Hendrix. I think about these legitimate entertainers who could Bean. play multiple <laughs> instruments. They could do multiple things, dance, Guns sing. Jesus, Joe. Yeah, Joe, would you let... Would you, would you and let now, the guy and now, what do you have today? Like, who would you ever be like a single guy doing a stadium show? And it's like, I that's an absolute iconic person of this era. And I understand people will say Beyonce. And I understand people will say Jay-Z. And I understand people will say Eminem. And there's some, there's some gigantic names and no discredit to them whatsoever because they do have iconic songs. But I am talking about people who are like worldwide cultural icons like Elvis and Sinatra and Michael Jackson. We got gypped out of the great and it wasn't my error. So it's not like I'm being biased towards it because these people were mostly all dead by the time I was growing up, too. We got so gypped on the era of real entertainers, Johnny Carson, things like that. We we missed out on that so bad. And the clowns that they have today, like this, I never even heard of Frank Ocean. I don't even know who Frank Ocean is. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know who that is. I swear. I, my kids, I don't know who Frank Ocean I is. Could, Fuck them. I couldn't tell you one of the songs. I mean, I, I'm there sure if I heard. I know that he is. I couldn't tell you one. There you go. But you can You could name me three fucking Elvis songs off the top of your head. You could name me three Sinatra songs. You could name me three Michael Jackson songs just off the top of your head. No problem. I I think that Selling all. Selling the modern entertainment. Like my dad's generation, your dad, Joe, your dad's generation, like the Woodstock, all of that stuff. I think their music, and I think they would obviously agree with this. Maybe they're a little bit biased to it. I think their music and their generation, I agree with what you're saying, by the way, Mikey B. I don't think it's even remotely close on no. them having the. the I'm not best. saying music. There's been good music, modern music. There's been fantastic, awesome, great modern music that I've grown up with. I'm not denying that. I'm saying from the standpoint of, a person who captivates the entire world when they perform, there's no, in my opinion, there's very few to no one like that. And there won't be ever like an error like that ever again. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Well, maybe there'll Joey, be a resurgence. But Joey D is a big Travis Scott guy. So I think jo that's the only counter that Joey D would have is he's a big No, I like Usher. I like Usher. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Usher is a lot. No, I'll tell you and, what, Usher and, is and electrifying Don't on forget the about the Beebs. Don't forget about the Beebs, Joe. Oh, uh, Beebs. Yeah, but I never watched Beebs live, but I sure so you're watch. a believer. You're a believer, though. Well, he's Canadian. I got to stick to my roots. Drake, by the way, another fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, Drake. Drake is like somebody that's like, yeah, I love yeah, Drake. Yeah, I won't deny that. I won't love deny the Drake. I do love the weekend, too. Uh, that's the weekend. A trifecta of Canadians right there. You know, you know what I want to see back in the mix is um, I'd like to see Ariana Grande back in the mix. Mm. She it was nice to bit. see. It was nice to see Rihanna at the Super Bowl. She Rihanna was, was terrific, fantastic. Terrific. I mean, and you forget how many bangers she has. Every song was maybe, a legitimate. Maybe banger. we. I agreed with your, yourself. Maybe we're wrong. The more we're talking, no, about we're it, not maybe. wrong because these. There, I said there are a select few, but I'm talking about the fact that like every every there were so many. It was like you just take your pick back then, and these people transcended entertainment. I agree. Like there's, they, they transcended entertainment, and well, they were all the around at the same the bunch, time. Mike, huh? you're also picking the best of the bunch. You know, like there was a, probably a lot of entertainers. Who but were, what, but what I'm saying is, those people haven't been around Joe for for decades now. We haven't had somebody like that for decades. You know, we need someone. Step I, up. I, I will say. I this. think you and I, Mikey V, were better than Bob. We at least had Michael Jackson. We had some of these guys when we were growing up. Bob. 
Bobby, oh, you're, oh, age wise, he's saying. Yeah, oh, Bob's oh, seven years oh. younger than us. We oh. were at, this, at least at the tail end. Caught the tail end, yeah. Caught the tail. I mean, Sinatra was alive for for eight years. I mean, for me, he was alive eight years. I think he died in ninety eight. I want to say no, I, um, ten years. I got out of Sinatra. I was on a wow. date the other day, and uh, the girl we were talking about concerts, and she's like, you know, who would you go see in concert? Or like, he said, well, Billy the Joel. only <laughs> the only concert I've ever seen <laughs> was Billy Joel. And she said, hold on, you mean to tell me the only concert you've ever seen was Billy Joel? I said, yeah. She said, well, how, how many times do you think you've seen him? I said, about eight to nine different times. I have got to go see a different concert because that's... You went to uh, Dave Matthews. Oh, you're a Dave guy? I did, but I was only there for like 30 minutes because I had to work the <laughs> over. I, you're right. You're right. Oh, you went Why, to Dave how are you there for 30 minutes? Their shows take like five hours. Because it was I had the Hollywood Bowl, too. How did you leave after 30 oh, minutes? Oh, that would be awesome. Well, well, it, it I like Dave. I had to I work the overnight shift. I went with Showtime uh, Anytime Featherston. And I had to work the overnight shift at the Four <laughs> Seasons for what, after. Four songs? What's that? Would you stay for four I think songs? He probably, if he was there 30 minutes, he's lucky if he made it through half the fucking <laughs> see, see, up. See them, the headliners. But you know what? You know what? What Featherston was doing that was bothering me. While he's getting ready, he's trying to guess what the song is, and he's screaming, "What? The, uh, just let him play the fucking song." A matter of fact, when I left, the guy in front of him snapped on him because he because he was doing it. It was a, just let him play the fucking song. I mean, you're gonna know. Yeah, yeah. You know, Joe, wild Joe, boy. Joe, the ants weren't even marching yet; they were only walking. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob left. <laughs> That's I, I very good. Really Bob, to your credit, I haven't been to many concerts either. Like well, I'm not a huge. I, I, I'm not. To, I haven't been to a plethora of concerts, but I have seen the Stones. I mean, I have seen Springsteen. I've seen Joel. Well, that's I good. mean, listen. I would give. I would give. I don't even know what I would give to have seen an Elvis or a Sinatra in person. I don't even know what. I don't even know what I could give short of uh, half of my. You know, half of my money to the point where I. I would. Still be able to support my family, I would hope. But well, like to see a Sinatra or Elvis in concert, I mean, Queen Live would have been sweet too. What Queen? That would have been a good one. Freddie Mercury would have been, been great. Yeah. Freddie Mercury. That's Another a great movie, by the way. Would have loved that for Bobby Blockbusters. Great. great you movie. already watched it. I watched it with you, Bob. Biopic. I knew that you watched it. Very you hot, know. by the way. The music biopic on these big singers. Elton like John's em. got one. Mercury's got one. Like Elvis em. has got one. Yeah. Um. You know, yeah. So I even when I when I left that concert, part of it I did have to go to work. But the Showtime calling out the songs thing was tough because I knew people around us were getting upset. Oh, you know yeah. what it? You know what it reminded me of? I think I might have told this on the show, but when you go to see a movie with Joey D, and I had to walk out of the theater one time, he, he what's will. He'll talk to you as if you're the only ones in the theater. Who are like, did you see that, Bob? Or like, do you believe this guy's going into the shed right now? He will talk. As if he's the... I've never seen anything like it. You also gave as, me an edible before the movie that you walked out of. Uh, neither here nor there, though. Well, neither, I disagree. He was, an altered, he was in an altered state of mind. Fuck off, I was not If myself. I gave you a, an edible, that would give you all of a sudden the right to be predicting what's going to happen. I wouldn't to say be, it was... I mean, no, no, no. Like, I don't know if it's... It wouldn't give me the right. However, would I be able to control myself? I can't say I would. So, it's like unlocking a tiger out of its cage and then you're upset because it mauls someone. <laughs> it's another classic Joey D analogy. There it is. Wait, you know what happened? The people behind us said something to us, so I was already on edge. Okay, I was already on. I was already on edge. Okay, the people behind us said something to us, and then he kept. He didn't stop. He kept going. So then I saw them move. So then I was like, "Look, I, I finally came. To, I, I dipped. I, I left. I just said I can't." I can't do it. You know, anymore. you know it's an annoying concert move, and we're guys who are on our phones all the time. These people that go to concerts and literally just record the entire. It seems like they're recording the entire concert with the phone the entire time. Yeah, the like worst, for every, like through the whole show, they're just the holding the phone. Is when they post it all on their story, and they think that it's going to hear and sound as good to us, the viewer, it as you get terrible. it. It's never the same. It sounds no terrible. No one's also ever listening past ten seconds. They're clicking yeah. the story. It, maybe By the you way, watch the first one in full, and then the second one, you're like, yeah. okay, click. click but you click, know what click, it's click. like? It's like taking a picture of the moon. You ever go and try and take a picture of a full moon, and then you go and realize 
It's not <laughs> nearly what it is that you're looking. You know, that's what I mean? very good. Yes, it's that's never very the same good. thing. It's it's just never. <laughs> never is. Never is. That's very. Good. That's a great one, Bob. That's very um, good, Bob. Yeah, yeah I appreciate. I'm actually that. impressed. Bob did that. That's yeah, just impressive. it's true. It's like, it's like trying to best. take a picture. Let's get into the top five, and I will tell you this: this is a Mikey V special. So Mikey V vetoed my top five, and he said, "I'm going to one up you here." And 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 I'm and this I'm is saying fucking un, this and is I'm a lie, saying, Bob. And I'm this saying, is a if, lie. I never vetoed your top five. He, You're lying. He, he, I'm not lying. I Joe, said dude. I like that one too. That's what I said. He won up. He won. And, and by the way, it was the right one up, which is why we're here today. It was absolutely the right. I was giving you a compliment, but you yeah. did one up me. Yeah. But you did one up me, and it's I a won great. Up to you and I vetoed you. Yeah. It's a great, it's a great top five. Mikey V, we'll let you actually start off. Let's start, I actually want to start off with Joey D because I'm wildly curious to hear his list. So Mikey V, why don't you Joe, tell Joe, by the, the way, the, the omelet toppings was, that was, that oh, was, that was that was, yeah, we're going to go back there, aren't we? No, 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 we won't, we won't. You're right, you're right, onward and upward, and who cares anyway, you know, it don't matter. Yeah, the at the end of the day. By the way, I had a lot of support for jalapenos. It was just the smoked salmon that I got buried on. Mm, I saw it a little differently, Joey D. <laughs> I, 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 I and my, here's the other thing. The people were saying that I do the combination of smoked salmon and jalapeno. I didn't say that. I just said it was <laughs> top end topping. I didn't say I'm the going to fucking that, four bro, seasons so, get a smoked it's so salmon good. jalapeno omelet. <laughs> Joe, but the thought of you sitting at a diner and ordering a smoked salmon jalapeno omelet is just something that is just I'm so doing good. doing it at a fine it's establishment. So <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's so man. good. Um, you want me to start? Yes. Well, 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 Mikey V, why don't you tell the folks what we're going to be doing today? Because I think this is going to, I think the list will be different. I think it'll lead oh, to a I lot of controversy. Oh, I think so. And there's going to be controversy. There's going to be It's terrific. I have, I have two items on my list that are going to cause an uproar, a legitimate uproar. Anyway, the, today's top five is the top five most overrated top five most overrated foods joseph so good yeah this is tough i i, I mean i think we're all gonna have our own takes here i'm gonna start right out of the gates with some i, I might get ba body bagged on this one but i gotta be honest at number five i think it's so overrated breakfast item i haven't had this food in maybe years Cereal to me is so fucking overrated, and I know you guys are going to go on an uproar when you're I'm a not, kid. I'm not in an uproar, but that is not going to play. When well. you're a kid, yeah. give me cereal. When you're an adult, I don't have time for cereal. I don't have time to put tricks <laughs> in my fucking cupboard. <laughs> you, I don't use the you, most preposterous you, reasoning, you, possibly the easiest oh, breakfast to prepare oh, on earth. Joe, Joe. Let him go. Oh, we Joe, shouldn't interrupt. We, should we interrupt. are you. I'm saying I'm an adult. You I'm not going to have marshmallows for breakfast. I'm just not going to do it. If you go the health route, I could understand that. But I'll to say you food. don't have time for cereal is just I mean, I don't mean literal time. time. I mean, I don't have time to, to, to fuck around with that. You don't have time for it's nonsense. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 I was gonna, I was gonna and we're say, off to a blazing sounds, hot start. Yeah. This is great. No, that would sound preposterous because yeah. it's the quickest thing to make. I'm yeah, saying we got Kevin O'Leary over food. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just think, listen, I would much rather have a bagel. I'd much rather have like I don't know anything really. I just don't need to. I don't want to have cereal. I just not. I'm not I, I'm not blown away by cereal anymore. I'm over it. At number four, okay, this is tough, man. At number four, I'm gonna go of any variation, soft or hard. I pretzels are fucking overrated. <laughs> That's so great. They make your mouth dry. They're bland. Like, how is the pretzel still such like an a, 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 a fucking thing that people like? crave that they got to sell them at stadiums i can't believe this even i mean even you put mustard on it is i don't disagree with salvage that. it it's it's a terrible item i'm sorry i don't, I don't hate that i don't hate it but i will say this when you're walking through a mall or some kind of store and they have those annie ann pretzel stands whatever fucking pheromones they put out from those blasters <laughs> to make it smell that they make that pretzel smell like if you don't buy it, you fucked up something terrible. Like you well, gotta get one, and they are delicious. The but I agree, Joe. Th 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 I never find myself in a position where I'm like, I gotta have a pretzel today. Yeah, the, the it's more of a um, theat like a 
Yankee Stadium soft pretzel or something like that. But that means that especially the hard pretzel, that's very over. I, I think that's a great one, Joey. Do you yeah, really do? Yeah, yeah. Pretzel and master number... selling the pretzel is very <laughs> and number three. I I don't know if I've ever had a good like a, one of these that was like tantalizingly good. And I'm I'm gonna tell you right now, I am selling the pork chop. I pork chops to me are so tough to do right. They're so they're overrated. You gotta lather them in an applesauce for them to be half decent or some kind of variation. Mikey pork chop. Bates. I'd rather have oso buco. I'd rather have some kind of. <laughs> I mean, this I mean, I'd rather have fucking <laughs> caviar. But I mean, pork chops are not very good, man. They're. I've never gone to a restaurant. Mikey like, B. I, I need know. to have the pork chop. I don't know it's, if it's, I... I'm telling you, it's it's of all the meats, of all oh, the protein... Oh, man, they're a, well, a really well-cooked and prepared pork chop is... It I don't know if I... I don't know chop. if I know a guy that enjoys pork chop more than Mikey B. A nice Berkshire pork chop, I mean, with <laughs> potatoes and point. peppers. Yeah, but even Costco, I mean, they sell these thick pork chops. I mean, Joe, I would love for you, uh, when you come out in June... I'd love to grill a pork chop up for you with my homemade dry rub. And you tell me it's not a good meal. I really would. Now, why are you rolling your eyes, Joe? You know what? Fuck you. I'm not going to make a pork chop. Whoa! Whoa! He rolled his eyes. I invited him him into my home to make him a delicious meal. And he rolls his eyes at me. Bob, am I wrong? Joe, I rolled my eyes when you said my homemade dry rub. I make the whole time. It's a little ridiculous. It was a little ridiculous. You could have said that. It, it's a little ridiculous? ridiculous. That's how I prepare pork chops with dry uh, rub, and I have them said, to make it at home, homemade. You could have said, I would love to have you over and make one of my signature pork chops. And I would like to do that. I would like to I do I would that. take you up on it. I would. Okay, thank All you. I'm saying, Mikey V, is how many restaurants do you go to now where you see a pork chop on the menu? I got to be honest, Joe, around here, a lot. I got to be but totally In this honest. area, you don't see, I mean, pork chops. Maybe the pork ain't good in Cali. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe they're not selling food of pork in Los Angeles. I don't know. You but. know what? I, look, I love a pork chop, but like if you go to like a certain steakhouse, there's always something better on the menu. I yeah, like a pork like, chop. You I don't go to a steakhouse to order a pork. I would yeah, never do that. Yeah, I would I never do that. last time you ordered a pork chop from a restaurant? It's been a long time, Joey Day. That's my point. Because there's long. so much other better shit on the menu, I'd rather have a chicken cutlet. I'd rather have a veal parm. I'd rather have a fucking. I, I'm telling you, there's so many other things I'd rather have than a pork chop. Okay, All right. that might be because I haven't had Mikey V's, but I'm I'm telling you, it's very rare to find a well cooked pork chop that you go home at the end of the day and say, "Man, that pork chop was the difference." Because I have never said Mikey V. Tell well, me about your tell me about your rub. Tell me about your rub. Now, what is yeah, the rub? He What's in your rub? He doesn't. He doesn't want- the the rub is I mean you got some uh, you got some brown sugar, okay. you got some paprika, you got some uh, ground mustard, dried mustard like okay. crushed mustard. Okay, it's coming together. Um, you got some uh, you know coarse black pepper, obviously your salt, obviously you got a little uh, cumin in there, I believe. Um, God, it's 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 very, very Mikey, good. Mikey, what isn't in your rub? <laughs> so you got your garlic, you got your garlic and onion powder. I mean, there's a lot in there, but okay. I tell you no, what, it, it fucking smacks. It, it smacks. does. I, I would love to try it. I really would. I'm gonna make one for Joe. By the way, we're only on number three for Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm just but trying. this has been very good. It yeah, needs no, no, dialogue. No, no. It, it has, needs dialogue. But but it does need to be addressed that this the one next fine, one is gonna dialogue. cause an uproar, and I don't care. It's going to cause a legitimate uproar. And, I, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. This one is going to probably lose me the top five. And I don't care because, Mikey V, you talk about McDonald's resting on their laurels and how. Oh, all the time. Not Wendy's, that's for sure. This food pairing item has rested on its laurels for probably, I don't know how many decades. And to find it properly prepared. And as an Italian, this is tough for me to say. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Because well, I, I thought about it. Three. I, I thought don't. About it. Let me give you the three count. Let me give you the three count. Let me give you the three count, fellas. I don't know. I'm out of this. We're at one, two, three, go. Spaghetti, Spaghetti and meatballs. meatballs. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. said it. I, you I, know don't, why? I don't disagree with that. I I'm do telling you why. And, he, and you know what? All these. People who don't, they're going to, oh, I like spaghetti and meatballs. Eat I don't think that will lose you the top five, Joe. Such a I'm good telling one. you right now. Such a good one. A, you either have shitty spaghetti 
that's paired with a decent meatball. And so the meatball takes precedence for the spaghetti or the or, other way around. Or B, mm-hmm. it's just, it's just, it's underwhelming. There's so many better pastas that you can go with than the spaghetti and meatballs. I Give want me a cherry. <sighs> By themselves as an appetizer and spare me the spaghetti meatballs. I'd rather go spaghetti ali olio. I'd rather go spaghetti puttanesca. But why spaghetti and meatballs? It's the most Americanized version of Italian food done. Take. Well, I, I you gotta got be it. honest. Got my, You're clear. my honorable mention is meatballs. My honorable mention is just meatballs alone. I think that they 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 are overrated. They're that overrated. sounds like a guy who has not been to Rayo's Hollywood. That's not that's, true. I've had great meatballs. That's but okay. New York. Meatballs. By the way, I, I would love to cherry pick off that because if there was a top five to cherry pick, this one is a gauntlet. This really is. It, it's a great call. I think Joey D's had had a, a a couple. He said the cereal one was tough, but it's a great call. Number one, go ahead, Joey D. Number one, this is something that everybody wants to order, and and when they're good, they're great. But when they're not good or when they're not pristine, they just flop. And 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 it's and it's and it's it's such a a very small precise like between being exceptional or not being good oysters at one. Wow! I have oysters. So do I. Oysters are either unbelievable when you get it with the mignonette and they're crisp and they're fresh, or have you ever gotten an oyster and it you take that first bite and you're like, this is fucking brutal, and it's happened to everybody. It's if they're not as fresh as fresh can be picked out of the ocean that night. Good call, Joe. And Very put good on call, ice Joe. Very with the proper call. accoutrements. If they're not done like that, it's they they just fall short. And everybody wants to start off with oysters. Let me do the fucking half dozen. Let's do a dozen. And they're wildly overpriced. Well, yes. wildly. I, For an appetizer, I could. Because, I, Joe, I will say, I've seen you order the oysters multiple times, and that's okay because I'm with you in the sense of I have it on my list. I totally, totally agree. But it's like – it's a fun – people like it because it's fun. They're wildly overpriced, it feels like, too. It's wow. all, it's never cheap. And I, I, I love to take – for a seafood tower that contains oysters and other items than just focusing on doing the oyster. I but think – To me, the oyster is number one. I think it's just – it's overpriced. It's it, the value is not there, and and it's not like you're full after you eat a couple oysters before your meal. It doesn't do much for you. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I don't man, like he, I, I think he, uh, I think after the start, I mean, the cereal, I was concerned. I think he did a terrific job, Mikey V. Do you have any issues with that? And then I'll let you no, fire not away. At all. Oysters yeah, on my list. I, I think he did no. a great job. I really do. No. Go ahead, Mikey V. All right, number five. This uh this item is the most overrated panic play Italian restaurant appetizer order there is. It's a panic play. And listen, I'm not saying some places don't make it outstanding. They do, but it is a panic this play. This is gonna be to so order. much fun. Do you want a three count, Joey D? He, tell me if you want the three count. If you want the three count, you're gonna get it. Fellas, we're on one, we're on two, we're on three. Let it rip. Fried calamari. Fried calamari. Fried calamari to me, listen, there's places that make it excellent. You'll find it on basically every Italian restaurant appetizer listed. It's a panic play. It's not that it's not, it's not great. It's just, a. it's, it is, it is like uh, in the Italian restaurant, it's like, it, it might as well just come out with the bread because it, it's, it's so commonplace and a lot of places it's rubbery and they miss on it. Unless you could nail it, it really is just overrated. I'm not about it uh, unless it's outstanding. Are you okay um, with that? Are you okay with that, Joey D? I'm curious. I, I, I am. And here's the problem with the with the calamari. A lot of people fry it with way too much batter. Yeah. yeah. The best okay. calamari is actually oh, grilled. And grilled salad. Calamari. And seafood yeah. salad, a nice yeah. calamari is delicious. Lit up in this. Number four, a little bizarre of a play, but I'm just going to go out and say it. This industry has made a lot of money, this industry of this food, right? And I got to be honest, they, there's pop-up shops now where they put the most absurd toppings on these things that you've ever seen in your life. They oh, just no. keep coming out with new variations and toppings. And I got to be honest, they're not donuts. 
Donuts at number four. I think the donut is so overrated. I have never really ever been like craving a donut ever. I've never craved a donut. And I just feel like it, these places are trying so hard with the bacon on top of the donut, the Oreo crumbles on top of the donut. I've had them peanut butter and jelly stuffed donuts. They're overrated, man. They're dry. They're just, they're not good. They're not good. I'm sorry. The donut is overrated. My problem with the donuts, I can't figure out if I eat it in the morning or if I eat it for dessert Who at night. Who fucking knows? That's another problem with it. It's too confusing of a food. It's it's overrated. Number three, oysters. Oysters was my number wow. three. Wow. Just a, just a shellfish that gets way too much credit. You could put a <laughs> clam in front of me any day, a mussel, a shrimp. Lobster, obviously, Alaskan king. I mean, we could go oh, down the road of yeah. how many superior shellfish there are, in my opinion. Oysters, I think you're right, Bob. I think it's like a trendy, like people think they're like trendy to order oysters. And it's just, it's not for me, never has been, probably never will be. Number two is going to piss a lot of people off. And I am going to get absolutely fucking grilled for number two. But just hear me out on why I say it. Number two is chocolate. Oh, my God. Chocolate at number two. Yeah. Yep. And I'm saying it for this reason. You just chocolate, top five, Mike. It's chocolate, over. That's fine. That's fine. Over. Chocolate has never and will never stand alone by itself. No one what in the are you doing? when is the last time that you ever went out and bought a Hershey's chocolate bar? Just a plain bar of chocolate. Just well, chocolate by itself. I bought lint chocolates quite frequently. They're fun. What is lint tr- that's truffles, right? They're like, no, there's, they have different variations. With though. things in them, I'm saying chocolate cannot stand alone. You ever eat a chocolate and plain M&M? They're terrible. They're terrible. They're not good. I chocolate. It, Mikey, the, I, this, I, I, it, that, that's that, fine. That's fine. That's, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I think chocolate, I think chocolate is one of the more, I think people are addicted to chocolate. I think people become addicted to chocolate. I personally think chocolate on its own, standalone, without I peanut butter, without peanuts, without caramel, with. without this, without that, all the all the things that you are. You ever go to Dairy Queen and get a dip chocolate it's cone? Good. It's the fucking most. I don't like dip chocolate cone. I prefer vanilla. I prefer vanilla cone. Oh. I prefer vanilla soft serve over chocolate soft I, serve. I just do. That that is that's tough. That's, that's look, you um, like what you like, Mikey. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change how I feel about chocolate. I'm not, okay. I think it's overrated. And number one, this food has overtaken <laughs> the entire country. I am just, listen, it, they had a good thing going for them in the dip variety, a real good thing going for them with the guacamole, but the avocado. The avocado, man, I mean, on the toast, in the sushi, <laughs> on the fucking bagel, in the omelet. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere. It's versatile. On pizza. Just stop with the fucking avocado is so fucking overrated. It should have stuck in its wheat. It should have stayed in its lane with guacamole. Nobody needs fucking avocado on every single piece of food that they eat. Avocado, another food that people like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm eating avocado. This avocado is not right. This avocado is right. Done with avocado, the most overrated food, in my opinion, right now, as it stands, is avocado. I think there needs to be some. I, I disagree with the avocado. I love. I love. I know avocado you do. You love avocado. The board. I really I do. I, I do think there's foods on here that it needs to be shown that something like what Mike View said, the avocado, the hype level that it does get is through it's the outrageous. roof. It it it's really very is versatile, though. That's the reason. Not to mention, it's a superfood, so it's fucking very good for you. It's a super key. food. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Acai, acai berries are overrated too. Well, oh, I'd agree with that. you on that, but uh, uh, let me keep the avocado. You guys are avocado guys. You guys are in California. You you can't live in California unless you like avocado. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I, I'll be honest. You're doing man. pretty good, Mikey V. That those last two kind of the, the chocolate. The chocolate. The chocolate. Is the chocolate he he, he could have said what? like Ch- it's as bad as saying pizza. For a lot of no, people, it's not. Like, no, it's, it's not. that that no, it's was not. that was no, it's not. really no, no, it's not. That was no, tough. Not. That was tougher than an extra uh, again, well done again, again, Pittsburgh steak. Again, I think um I again I think it's the hype level that chocolate receives, and I just don't think anyone really like no one buys plain chocolate ice cream. I feel like nobody buys that. What? Yeah, I, I feel like no one I does. feel like that's one of the most oh, I do. flavors you, of Mikey, ice cream. You give, me a, you give me a pint of Haagen-Dazs, Haagen-Dazs plain chocolate. chocolate. Plain yeah, chocolate. Sure, sure. 
I don't sure. buy that for Cause sure. A, no, because a lot of times... <laughs> I don't stay, buy that for a fucking You're going to lose sure. a lot of the voiceless sure. on this one. If, so if you're you, going to take the chocolate ice cream over like a strawberry or a butter pecan or a, or a cookie me cream... Me, 1,000%. You saw me in... You Joe, what, that's Joe, a little remember, sociopathic. Joe, remember in Italy when we went into the gelato shop? We that's those, different. Like, that's gelato. It's a little well, different. Well, there's strawberry. There's banana. There's all these types of gelato. Um... <laughs> Think I don't want to favor any any list, but I think Joey D. After that cereal take, now I'm gonna get ahead and I'm gonna go with mine. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's let this thing rip. Um, number five for me might be a hot take for some. For me, it fills you up too much. You don't want to have it as an in particular solo meal. You always have to have it with something. You don't get excited enough about it if you are having it as a solo meal. Give me soup at five. Oh, I got, this, that's terrible. I got soup at five. I, I just think that soup, and there's so many variations of soup that are so good. I, I just think it's 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 one of those that's tweeners, man. Play. It it, it gets play. so much love. <laughs> Can I? It gets so much love. I got and I got some matzo ball soup. I like it. I don't love it. And then, by the way, it puts me in a weird spot for the rest of my meal. That's the only thing I'll give Mikey V with the calamari. If you get a calamari with too much bread in your meals, your meal's done. Um, and I don't hate the donut take, by the way, either. Um, Thank you. Number four, okay, <laughs> this this I think will be a hot take, but people act like it is the most incredible, best thing. It's wildly overpriced, and it becomes a little too rich if you have too much of it. I feel like, Joe, you're going to fucking hate this, but give me truffle at four. Like black truffle, or um, you know, no, I like I like it's just it's I so it's it. very it's very overwhelming. It's almost it almost like it's turns it into it's it really is when they come and Joe used to go to Joe's take us. They would shave the black truffle, and it was always good, but you didn't want too much of it, or it kind of takes over. French fries with the truffle oil is a See, but even for that, I'd rather just have a strict the French fry. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the French fry has never been broke to where I think we get a little too cute with it. Um, I got truffle at four. Number three, I think my list is coming together here. Um, okay. Number three, give me the brownie at three. Um, I've just never been. <laughs> hopefully, you, just, Ryan, you love chocolate. No, hopefully, but just hopefully, it's a hopefully, different, Ryan, hopefully, Ryan Clark's not watching this episode. It's a different. It's a different. It's a different take. Just the 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 standalone. Who nowadays for a dessert, which it is a dessert, is getting a brownie. Yeah, because but, chocolate can't stand alone. This is this is this. That's not. That's a point. different conversation. Don't no, use my list to, no, to, to help Thank your you. list. That's an not aff- fair. That was an affirmation. Thank Joe, you. when's the last time you ordered a brownie? Well, no, but well, I don't really order. But I've I've had with weed in it or not. Mom, well, that's a different. Really before the movie that I saw with him, that I had to scurry <laughs> out. Of. Um. Okay. Yeah, I got the brownie at three and number two. Look, I like so much foods to where I I had to lean a little more towards uh, desserts. And for number two, I got the cupcake. I think the cupcake might be the most overrated thing in the game. They're fun to look at. The sprinkles ones are good though. Are they though? Some of the for some of the ones are really delicious though. But I can see. No matter what I said, I was going to take. I I was going to get. I was going to get. That's not true. I agreed with everything on your list so far except soup. Give me the cupcake. Cup. Give me the cupcake. Give me the cupcake. I do. Um, and then one, I thought I was going to get absolutely buried for this, and we're all on the same board. I got the oyster at yeah. one. I think yeah. it's so overpriced. It's just fun. It's but when you suck down the, it's it, it don't do nothing for you, man. It's and anybody telling you otherwise is a liar. Um, that's what I have and to say and about that. <laughs> yeah. And then at, at my honorable mention, I I loved the spaghetti and meatball play out of Joey D. It's the right play. It really, really was the yeah, right I play. Yeah, I mean, mine is me- my honorable mention is meatball. Yeah. Mine is caviar. I think caviar, for what it's priced, is just like, I mean, I'm sorry, you get a couple dollops of fish roe. I mean, like, what are we doing here? Like, it's good, but it's almost kind of like more of a flex than you're like craving and tantalizing the caviar. By the way, the other thing that is really overrated, it's not a food, green juice. Wildly fucking overrated. All that kale, spinach, and shit they put in there, not good. That's a superfood, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He's right. He is right. 
<laughs> I will say the worst pick of all of them, though, is chocolate at two. <laughs> uh, listen, I said, listen, listen, I said I was going to get buried on the chocolate. I, I'm not a chocolate guy. I never Your have been. Are gonna go again, again yeah. before you before you judge, if you're listening, the when voices the are now going to be the restless. Yeah. When is the last time? <laughs> when is the last time that you had a, her, a plain Hershey's kiss? When's the last time you had a plain Hershey chocolate bar? When's the last time you had a regular M&M, not a peanut, peanut I'm butter, pretzel variety? Don't I, tell me you're a sucker for Hershey Kisses, Bob, or some uh, shit like that. Don't tell me. My, my, dad has, my dad has exactly four Hershey Kisses every single night. Before uh, plain, plain, plain God, chocolate. Dark, plain God, nothing in it. Dark, sure dark chocolate. That? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's different. Dark Come chocolate on, chocolate. Why is different? it different? It's still cacao. It's cocoa, chocolate, same <laughs> shit. Joe, <laughs> <laughs> this guy is the sickest. Okay, fellas, <laughs> let me tell you this. Um, that's how you podcast. That is a very Joe. Can you stay with me? I'm just closing. Give me. Come on, I'm I'm fired up here. Okay, that's a podcast, Joey Day. That's a fucking podcast. That is that is three guys coming together, shooting the shit for the greater good of our fans. And that's what means the most at the end of the day. Joe has his hand up. Come at us, Wendy. <laughs> Wildly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. okay. Yeah, I, I agree. Back off that. Yeah. Jesus. Well, no, I agree. I agree. And Wendy, fellas, right. that is one hell of an episode. I love you, boys. I appreciate you, boys. That's another edition of the Brilliant Dump Show. We'll see you next time.